Hello and welcome to episode 31 of my Planet Explorers tutorial Let's Play series. This episode will be on everything you need to know about building an above ground monorail. So please be aware this could be classed as a spoiler if you want to learn the whole process yourself. Um, I'm going to lay everything out in the order of what you need to do so please be aware of that. In the next episode I will cover uh, building a mine monorail. I also want to mention I shall only be from now on advertising that I have uploaded a new video once a week at uh, the beginning of my uploading week which is Tuesday with uh, and the first video that I upload on a Tuesday is Fallen Earth. So that's the only video from now on I'm going to notify you of new uploads. This shall be the last video, this one shall notify you um, because obviously I want you to get this update of me telling you this but from now on uh, it will only be Fallen Earth which notifies you of an update. The reason for this is I want to stop spamming you every day with my uploads for my videos. I am very sorry for the previous video spam about me uploading new videos that will now cease. Um, you'll, you'll know that uh, I do different uh, series uh, Tuesday to Friday and you know what series they are. When I stop them or start new ones I'll let you, well you'll see anyway. So anyway, time to get mono. The very first thing before you uh, go speak to Roll is to make sure that you have 10 rice on you. Roll we need to go to to get the transmitter script um, because you're soon going to burn through all your track joints. Now you have to make uh, the components for your monorail in your base but you'll notice once I learn so I've got the script for the station platform I've got the script for the end track but you'll notice I don't well, I, uh, I have the script for a track joint but what I do not have and what you will not have is a component to make the track joint which is the transmitter so let's show you quickly what I'm talking about okay so if we go to the base and we go to the replicator and we go to decoration you'll see here's the three components I've just learned. Now with a track platform, no problemo. You only need steel. For a track end, no problemo. You can make all the components listed. Okay, because they're just common materials that you can either harvest or make out of the harvested materials. But for the track joint, you need a transmitter and small glass. Small glass you can make if you've been learning the scripts as we go but if you click on transmitter you'll see there's no recipe for it. That's because you need to get it from Roll. Now in order to get it from Roll she's going to task you with a quest. So make sure you get eight, uh, you have ten rice in your inventory before you go to see roll. Now if you don't have enough rice bear in mind that Vera Novikova sells eight rice at a time. Now Vera is one of the people I've recruited in my base who's walking around so just go up to her and you can buy the rice you need. Okay, so once you have 10 rice, now we've got to go find Roll. So if I bring up the map, Roll is located right over here at the abandoned city. Now I'm not going to fast travel there. What I'm going to do instead is load in the next step, which puts me there. I must say that um, Planet Explorers never ceases to amaze me 
at different stages of the game with different things and different it just it just keeps on getting better and better and the monorail uh, the monorail for the oh how on earth I don't know what's going on there let's try again it doesn't like uh, Planet Explorers doesn't like loading you in when you're on a height on a ledge or something I noticed anyway the monorail is really simple to make and extremely useful and that is what I'm going to get across to you in this episode and the next episode why you're going to want to cover your planet in monorails you're going to see so cool anyway so we're coming up here to the ancient city I showed you where it is on the map there's roll okay when you get near to her it updates now if we look in my inventory so I can show you so I've got all the components um, I want to get rid of that oh anyway so it doesn't matter so I've got the components but what I'm lacking like I said is the transmitter so let's talk to roll what is it how are you doing we're doing okay the translation process is still ongoing we're beginning to see the basic shape of their language structure. We've also seen more native activities around here lately, I'm not sure why. And that's about it. Oh, we're running low on ration supplies. Do you have any to share? So there we go. This is why you need the 10 rice. Because now they she's given you a quest. Uh, a favour. Give 10 rice to roll. So let's right click roll. Okay, so now that that mission is completed, you see it's been updated. Now, Roll will have given me the uh, other component, the transmitter. So let's just have a look, see if I can find it. Oh, my pocket's a real mess, but there's no choice about that. I'm sure it should appear in here, actually. Let's talk to her. Oh, I need to talk to her again. Hi. Okay, so Governor Skyrunner wants to build a communication system between our two colonies. So, there really are two colonies now. Well, that stinks. As for the comm system, sure, it's possible. I already have the software. However, I'll need the help from a civil engineer to apply it. Do we have anyone like that around? We do, actually. Mr. Wiles? Oh, that's great! I've worked with him before. This can be done then, no problemo. Here, take this. It's a script for the transmitter and receiver There you go. Unit. Mr. Wiles needs to include this in his overall grid setup. They'll keep transmitting the signals to keep them up through the interference. Walk in the park, right? Yep. Okay, so I've now got the transmitter script, and they've been good enough. She's been good enough to give me twenty of them. So um, already made. So let's learn the transmitter script. We can now make a track joint. Um, like you see, they've all. She also gave me twenty to. So that's twenty more um, track joints that are going to be made. Okay, so, right, that's it done with roll. Now we've got to head back to our base and build this monorail. So, again, what I'm going to do is load in a, a save point, which is this one, and I will show you now how to lay out your um, monorail. I want to say a huge thank you to Styx for giving me a heads up and some insight into uh, building the monorail above ground thank you very much Dix always lovely of all of you when you make your comments I read every single comment and I do try to reply to them all sometimes though as you I've mentioned in the past it does bug out and I don't always see the messages but uh, eventually I seem to find them okay here we go see here's the bug when you save a game above on a ledge it does this to you it's all right don't panic just walk around do your jetpack before you hit the ground and it's all good.
Now, I've done a total overhaul of all of this, oh, for goodness sake, for, of all of this over here, as you're going to see as I load them in. Now, as you can imagine, okay, I've spent eight hours building a monorail. All right, yes, it was learning the process of what what's an instruction, uh, obstruction, what's best and what's not best. So I'm gonna, that's why I'm loading it in in segments to show you. So right, first off then, we need to build the monorail. You start with your end track and you start with it being in your base. Notice I'm going to build mine above ground. Uh, just like Stick said, it means you don't keep getting attacked by the critters as you're building it um, to the next to your location your, where you want to take it. Now, for my purposes, I'm building the monorail from my colony, which is here, all the way up to the Martian colony. Colony. That's what the quest wants you to do. From here, from A, your Earth colony, to B, the Martian colony. Okay, so to get started then, we're going to place a end track, or track end. Uh, notice I've just built a ramp up here to get it well above but within my dome of my base okay so you drag and drop this um, let's turn the screen so you can see just drag left click keep it uh, held and then drop okay that's the end next you want the station although well actually I'll mention that later on Okay, so next the station. You see how it's got the beam of light now going to it. That means that the game is happy with my placement. If you do not see the beam of light, there's a number of things it can be. Either there's an obstacle in the way, either the terrain is uh, in the way, so it's not flat or smooth or jutting out in front. Um, or it could just be that you're putting a wrong part down. What you want to see when you're placing your next piece is that purple beam. Okay, so remember if you don't see the purple beam, it could be that you're not within your base. And that's why you don't see the purple beam. So anyway, left click, drag, drop it where you want it. There we go. Now, what you do is you're going to need track joints. So, to do a track joint, you'll just place it down like so. Okay, just to show you a little here, let's build a little bit of this out. Let's zoom out as far as we can get. So I'll put that there, stretch this all over to here, and click. Okay, now the distance between your monorail parts is 80 meters. Do not worry about knowing exactly what 80 meters is, because the simplest way is to simply go to the next place you want to put your or build for your to place your next bit of monorail. So, like you can see here, I'm just building lots of ledge, like so. That's a bit better. Okay, so let's just check that. Notice the beam. Okay. Let's come out a bit further. I want to get it so you can see the range. Oops, misplaced that. Okay, so see, I'm out of range now. So I'm further than 80 meters. What is 80 meters? Well, do it the simple way. Life can be very simple. Just move it along until you see the beam. That's telling you your limit. So as you can see, I can get it just to there and then drop. And there we go. Right, okay, now, the way the monorail works is, all right, 
you can go at different angles and different heights. So let's demonstrate this. Now, as you know, I want to go to the Martian base. And if I keep going straight, I'm going to end up here. That's no good, is it? We want to go over to here. So the way to achieve that, okay, what you can do is you can place your um, track joints at angles. Also, you can do them above, <coughs> excuse me, or below. Okay, so I can now place that there, like so. Notice that sometimes it hovers above the ground. So that's what I want to demonstrate next. So I'm just going to place that down just there. There we go. So that's showing you you can go at a complete angle. Okay, that's not a problem. The next thing then is placing your track joints at height. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to build a ledge this direction and then I'm going to place it at a, on a height so you can see how the monorail copes with that. Do not place um, the slope too close to the track rail otherwise the uh, beam is going to go up in the air. Okay, Make it as flat as you can for as far as you can away from the track joint. The reason for this is because as this beam is going to go along this way, if it's got a bump or a raised ground here, the beam is going to have to go above that raised ground to get to point B down here. I hope that makes sense. So if I built a slope here, the beam is going to shoot up above it. Whereas if I put the slope over here, the beam has got less, uh, less of a, 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 a gradient to travel over. So let's come a little further out. Okay, right now here, I can start building slope one at a time. So that's one up. There's another one up. There's another one up. There's another. And there's another. Okay, so that, as you can see now, is that on a gradient. Because you'll need to do that if you want to stay above the uh, ground. Because if I keep going in that direction, or say that my track went along here where that big lump, that big hill thing is, I'd want to do a gradient above it. So how high can you go? As high as you want. So let's do a few more. So you can really skip, the, so I can demonstrate this really well. Oh. Okay, right, so you can see that's a good slope now. Let's go up here. Let's put this more here. Okay, now if I place this, see? Now what the beam is doing is, because of my slope there, it's now going to raise the um, track joint above my dirt. Do you see that? It really does not matter. It's As long as it's got the beam, it's happy. So you can see there, and now it goes there. Okay, so it's up in the air. Okay, so you can go up to great heights if you need to, to get above the ground. Okay, so right, let's show you then my progress with building a monorail. Let's load in the next. which will be this one. Okay, in this next one you'll see the monorail, build the monorail's been updated. The reason for this is because I wanted to test the monorail before showing you it. I didn't want to show um, the monorail not working, obviously, when I recorded uh, the 
recording this, I want it to work. Because what's the point in showing something if it's not going to work as I normally do? So I thought, you know, let's just try and improve. Um, I've been making videos now for over a year, so surely I must have learnt something. Well, I've learnt one or two little things. Um, but one thing I've definitely learnt is to test a major machine like this or major structure before attempting to show it. So forgive me that I've placed down a track cart and the quest ups, uh, has updated. It says now final testing and civil cooperation. When you place your your track uh, your train cart, your monorail cart, it then updates. Okay, right, here's my monorail. Let's now show you some really cool, useful stuff about it. First of all, okay, you can name all the joints. Now it makes sense to name your stations. So to name it, right click, and here it says name. So I'm going to call this Earth Base 1 because um, I could call it Earth Station but I'm trying to keep the name short so it fits within this box so Earth Base 1 because I'm going to have many uh, monorail station start points in my base going to different locations you can't name a station the same name more than once so this one I can call Earth Base 1 I can't name another station Earth Base 1 it won't allow me so let's now just click away that's now called Earth Base 1 let's close that okay so that's how you name it right next how do we make the monorail um, actually start working down here where your access to your phone and then monorail is where you can view the layout of your monorail. You see, here's my station, the start, Earth Base 1. That's the station name. If we come up here, you will see that I've gone all the way to the Martian base. Okay, station name, station 41. That doesn't make any sense to man or beast. So we will call this... Martian base one because I might have more stations in the Martian base we'll see okay click away there we go now I've got both my stations both ends of the monorail named so it, it for later on when I have loads more it will make sense I know exactly where where they're going okay notice there's a start button here the start is not the start button's not the useful one for you. It's being able to stop your monorail. So let's show you what I'm talking about, what I'm waffling about. Okay, now you'll find your train carts or wagons, whatever it's called. Where is it? Train cart in your resources. Okay, don't panic when you talk to. Um, uh, oh, I always forget their names. I'll see if I can find it, but he's the guy down there who gives you your train car. It's important. I'll go down and show you who that is at the end of the video. Anyway, so once he gives you your train car, you place it on the track. Bang. It's now on and it's working. So if we bring up the phone monorail, you'll see there's my train happily trundling along to the Martian Connolly. Connolly colony now what happens though if I want that back what for some this? reason oh let's turn the sound down now what happens though if I want uh, to if I want to name one of my stations because I've changed my mind you can't name them while they're running so what you must do click the stop button and what it will do put it straight back it puts the train cart straight back in your pocket how cool is that so it could be that you've got to a station and the train has just left. Then stop it, pick it back up and put it back down on the end track. And what it will do, let's show you. So I missed the train because I do that in life. I always miss the train. What we can do though is put the train cart back there. 
run to here and then click E and there you are that's how you get on to get off you click oh oh well I didn't get off in time anyway let's show give you a tour of my monorail so we go up here you can see I'm climbing because I want to keep it above the ground it was easier for me building that way I didn't keep getting attacked notice I'm going at angles the train is completely happy with that Oh, little bit of a load up there. Okay, so I'm keeping going up at the gradient. You'll notice the track is climbing because the ground is climbing. It gets steeper and steeper. Not a problemo. You just keep building up. Now, the interesting thing is up here, of course, is there is an alien, aggressive alien camp. But that didn't bother me because I was up on my ledge. Whereas my followers were stupid enough to be walking along the ground. One of them actually got killed just here. But, you know, such is life. There we are. There's the Poojum camp. They're aggressive. They'll give you a bad day if you build too low. But, as you can see, my monorail has gone above ground. All the way up here to the Martian base. Now, you'll notice final testing. Wait for Dr. Wiles. We'll get updated. Oops, if I can get out, get off. There we go. Right, so I'm off. See the way it goes between the, the end joint, then the station. And then it will trundle off back about its business. Okay, if I walk down here, I'll get an update for that wait for Dr. Wiles. There we go. Perfect condition. Perfection. It feels refreshing when everything goes according to plan for once. And he couldn't be more right there for once. It's gone to plan. So let's update that. So this is the Martian colony, huh? You weren't kidding. They really did go off on their own. Now, if you'll excuse me, I want to ask them if they've seen my wife. That sounds a bit comical in actual fact, but anyway. There we go. That's Dr. Wiles updated. I'm not going to do talk with Skyrunner yet because we've got a ton more fun to have with monorails. So, the next question that you may be asking me is how many junction points did it take from my Earth colony to the Martian colony? Well, let's find out. So there's one, two, three, in fact I'm just going to count and I'll tell you at the end because there's some trees in the way. Trees do not block your monorail. Although you'll notice I cut most of the trees down. In fact, it's going to take too long to get back there. Um, I used about 45 of these track joints. That's roughly about how many you will need. But you know, actually, what am I talking about? That's totally absurd. I don't know where you're going to have built your earth colony. So I don't know how many track joints you're going to use. But I will show you once more on the map the distance between my colony and the Martian colony. And I've used, like I say, between 45 about 45 track joints so the reason I'm going back here is because I'm going to ride on it going back so what we'll do bring up the phone and the monorail we will stop it there we go gets it back nice and quick for me let's now put it on there and let's get on It is just so fantastic, the monorail, and it is so, so useful. So what's the practical uses for the monorail? Well, if we look at the map, where there are points like this, points of interest that you've been to, you can teleport to them. So there's no point building um, monorails to them. But what about to sites where there's resources? 
and there isn't a, a teleport point. They're the places that you can build monorails to. Like check out for example, I've got coal and iron, silver and aluminium, and silver and zinc. Oh, there's the timer. The silver and zinc is close enough to the rock formation, I guess, for me to walk. But certainly the coal and iron and the silver and the aluminium would be perfect to have a monorail go to them because I can't teleport to them. So there we go, there's the monorail. Now I hope that I've covered everything thoroughly, showing you the uh, distance in my base, uh, where I've put mine. Oh, let me get off, that's it. Okay, I've shown you how high up I've done it. You can do it on the ground if you want, but be aware if you do it on the ground. That's this little quirky thing where you get stuck every now and again. Don't ask me why. Oh well, I'm going to spend uh, between now and the next episode trying to work out how I can get from being stuck in this ground. Anyway, so there we are. There's the monorail above ground. Everything you need to do, everything you need, uh, and placement of the track parts. In the next episode, I'm going to show you a different type of monorail, a monorail in the mine. And we're going to make a monorail that goes to my coal and iron and then on to my silver and aluminium. And maybe on to um, the petroleum, although I think not. I just want to demonstrate a monorail in a mine. So we're going to use coal and iron and silver and aluminium for that demonstration. Wherever you are in the world, God bless you and keep every last one of you safe. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day. Goodbye.